All right, so uh, beta testing is uh, continuing over on the Crucible, um, and uh, a couple of uh, requests had come in, um, one of which uh, was to try to get choreography mode added to one button. So I was able to do that, and I did have to change some controls. So um, when you, uh, this is currently only on GitHub, it'll be part of 6.1. Um, those of you who are in the testing, you're going to go to GitHub and get the new version. Um, but there is choreography mode now for one button. Um, it did require moving around some controls, so even from version 6 um, to the new version, there'll be a couple changes on the one button control to make that possible. Um, this is actually set up for two button, but it gave me an opportunity to kind of uh, talk about choreography mode, because with everything else that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to do a video on it yet. Um, so for those who haven't heard of or seen the proof of concept on choreography mode, um, choreography mode is basically an enhanced battle mode. Um, it actually Technically, it was the idea that led to battle mode, but battle mode was implemented first. Um, so the idea behind it is it gives you the ability, it actually runs two modes. It has the ability to rehearse, um, and what you're rehearsing is your clashes and your lockups. And if you were going to do a choreograph, uh, choreographed battle with somebody, you'd be able to practice that in a rehearsal mode, practice when you're going to clash, practice when you're going to lock up, um, and the Sabre stores that, and it actually stores it per font. Um, which means that you can have multiple uh, rehearsals saved into your saber based on the font itself. Um, and another nice feature that we also put into it is it actually also records the sounds that are used for both clash as well as begin, uh, begin lockup, lockup, and end lockup. Um, and you can also edit those because it's basically going to be a text file for choreography in each font. Um, so if you wanted to change up the sounds that actually happen for the clashes and the lockups, you can do that. Um, you can also copy that text file and you can share it with um, your uh, opponents or your whoever you're doing the choreography with. Um, if you wanted to actually make the choreographed uh, set up yourself because it is a text file, you would just give it to them. They would put it in the font that you want um, and then it'll run. Um, and it has a lot of other capabilities, but I wanted to kind of give a run through, um, kind of describe the main thing. Basically what it's doing is it's recording your clashes and your lockups. Um, it records the sound as well. So uh, while in rehearsal mode, you're going to do uh, all the controls are normal operation. When you get to, after you've saved your rehearsal and you go to choreography mode, it plays back um, based on when your clashes occur, what's supposed to happen, if it's supposed to be a clash or lockup. Uh, and then from there, it basically, all the controls are like battle mode. And if your choreography ends, so if you've done all the recorded um, controls for choreography, it goes automatically into battle mode when you're done, and that way if you want to do some flourish at the end or do finish out something, you can. Um, so let me go into rehearsal mode first, because you do need a rehearsal. Um, and actually, I think, if I'm correct, this font doesn't have rehearsal. So I'm going to try to go into choreography mode without a rehearsal just to show you what happens. So what will happen is if I don't have a saved choreography in a font that's active, and I go to choreography mode, it's going to say no choreography available, and it's going to ignite in battle mode, and then you would just run normal battle mode. Um, so there's, depending on the buttons, uh, so this is two button, um, it's going to be holding the aux and swing on. No choreography available. And it gets blended out, but it says no choreography available. So now I'm just in regular battle mode, and then I can just close off. So because there's no choreography available, um, I'm obviously can't go into choreography mode, so I would use normal battle mode. Now, We'll do a, we're going to actually do a quick saved rehearsal. So to go into rehearsal mode, and again, it depends on one button or two. Um, for the two button, it's actually hold aux and twist. You're going to hold the aux button and twist. Begin rehearsal. So I'm in begin rehearsal. So now what I'm going to do is clashes are just normal clashes. When you want to do a lockup, you're going to hold aux and clash. Um, and that records either a regular clash or a lockup into your rehearsal. So we'll do a clash, another clash, this time I'll do a lockup, so I'm going to hold, let it go, and you would do this obviously with your, you could do it like I'm doing now, or you could do it with your opponent and actually talk through what you're doing, um, but it's going to record it, it's not timed, it's based on when your clash is, the sequence of the clash events, so clashes or lockups, um, so we'll do another clash, we'll do another lockup, and we'll finish with a clash. Then once you've got all of the events for your clashes and lockups uh, planned out, you're just going to hold your power button 
and it will save the choreography and turn the saber off. Now, saving the choreography, depending on how long the choreography is, um, the saber will pause for a minute while it's doing that. Um, so that's expected. But let's hold our power button. End rehearsal. So it ended the rehearsal retracted. So now I actually have a saved rehearsal. So I'm going to go into choreography mode um, again, and that was holding aux and swinging. So I'm in begin choreography. So and actually all the sounds you can change them. So if you want it to be a quote from a person, if you want it to be like a small uh, music clip, um, I have it using the spoken ones more just so you know what's going on. Um, and those are in the voice prompt packages. But you can change those sounds out if you don't want it actually saying begin rehearsal and rehearsal begin choreography and choreography etc. Um, so the sound can be whatever you want, but for our purposes we're using the spoken one. So now I'm actually in choreography mode, and the controls are going to be, you're not going to need your buttons for clashes or lockups, it's going to be based on what you recorded during rehearsal. So my first clash is a clash, my second was a clash, I think my third was a lockup, third's a lockup. It works like battle mode, so the lockup's going to stay until I do the pull away. I think we did a clash, and then I think we did another lockup. And then I think we ended with a clash. And choreography. And then the choreography ends. So you could have that be a different prompt if you wanted. And now we're in normal battle mode. And if you set up battle mode 2.0, the lighter clashes do clashes, the harder ones do lock up. So you stay in battle mode. That way if you want to finish out or if you, you know, decided to add something more, it's in there. Um, but so now that's how that works. Um, and it's really straightforward. It's just recording it from what you do in rehearsal. It's recording your clashes and your lockups. Um, and again, Clash in rehearsal is a clash. To do a lockup in rehearsal, you hold your aux button and do the clash. Um, and that way, you, when you go into choreography mode, you don't have to worry about that button anymore. Um, and because the other controls are battle mode controls too, no more worrying about hand, missing a button, forgetting a button, etc. Um, it's going to be based on that. So now I'm going to turn my saber off. And this is the last piece of the puzzle. If you have a saved choreography, and you want to change it, you will, you can actually do that as well. Um, so before I didn't actually have choreography on this font, so now when I go back into it, it's going to actually ask me, it's going to prompt me if I want to keep the rehearsal, or if I want to, I'm sorry, it's going to prompt me if I want to replace the rehearsal or not. And then from to answer that is actually the dial menu. So if you turn right, you're going to say yes, which means you do want to replace the rehearsal, which will put you into rehearsal mode to do a brand new rehearsal, and it will erase your previous one. So you obviously don't want to do that if you want to keep it. If you don't, if you accidentally go into rehearsal mode and you have a stored choreography, you would just turn left and then press power, and that'll just keep your current uh, rehearsal mode. So let's go in. It's going to prompt me if I want to keep or if I want to replace the rehearsal. Replace rehearsal. So if I want to, if I want to replace it, I'm going to turn right and press power. If I don't want to replace it, I'm going to turn left and press power. Um, so I'm going to say no. So I'm going to turn left. Cancel. And then keep rehearsal. Pressing power will keep the rehearsal. So now the rehearsal I already did stays. If you wanted to do a new rehearsal, you would turn right, press power, and then you would actually go into rehearsal mode again. So um, that was an additional feature, just in case you lose track of where your choreo, uh, which fonts have choreography files or not. Um, but so now choreography is obviously on two button. It is also available on one button. Um, like I said, it's as of right now, it's only in the GitHub version for those of you who are doing beta testing. Um, that will become part of 6.1 with a bunch of other changes and additions we worked on during beta. Um, so if you're uh, doing the beta testing or you're interested in beta testing, you want to run choreography mode on one button, just uh, follow the instructions in the uh, beta thread to get the, uh, the version from GitHub and use that. Um, but so that's uh, now available um, and uh, you know just check it out so like I said it is an enhanced battle mode it's recording so that you can use battle mode but it also automatically goes into battle mode and that way you can continue to do whatever you need to do with it so uh, kind of a it actually is a an older feature I had the idea from last year um, when battle mode came to be it actually I did battle mode first and then we came back I circled back around and added choreography for OS 6 so uh, lots of more great stuff coming. Um, there were changes um, for one button to get choreography there, so be sure to read the top of the prop file. Um, but most of all, hope you enjoy.